my dear nursing colleagues um, today I will be talking about how to fill the licensure form for Finland those of us willing to work in Finland as a nurse um, I want you to watch this video on how to fill the licensure form for Finland um, the first thing is to go to the site Valvira here. So just type, just go to Google, type Valvira, Finland, not RN, licensure application um, form. So it will take you to this page. And the first thing you have to do here is to change the, because this site is in Finnish language so you have to change it to English language so you click on the English here so now you can read the site in English language we can read the information on the site in English language then you click you click on the healthcare and social welfare so there are two options here information systems and rights to practice so you click on right to practice and it takes you to the next page which is a um, rise to practice in social and welfare and healthcare so you click on the planning to work in the social and um, health care so it takes you to this page which is healthcare and social welfare and you select you click on the select on the drop down menu here and you click on your profession which is nurse yeah so you click on nurse yeah and it has where you want where you completed your training for your initial nursing licensure so that is outside the eu eea so if you completed your licensure i mean your your initial nursing licensure maybe you are a british citizen or you are you completed your nursing education in the eu or eea state then you have to click the first option but if you completed your nursing, nursing education outside eu or eea then you click on the outside the eu eea so and um, you now click on continue to the application instructions so these are the information for nurses who are trained outside of the eu or eea so this uh, it also tells you about the right you have to practice in finland so you click on the fill in the application form fill in the application form in finnish pdf so the form is in pdf and the form is um is written in finnish language so you may not really understand the um contents of the form except you understand finnish language but that is not the problem i have simplified everything for you but before you click on the pdf form you have to read the requirements first so the first requirement is your is your passport international passport which must be current and this shows your proof of nationality the second one is the certificates degree certificate whether you are a diploma whether you are a bachelor and not only that you have to include the email the official email address of the school that issued that certificate for you so the third um, requirement is the transcripts. You need to submit the academic transcripts for all your um, educations, including if you have undergone, if you have um, had diploma and bachelor's, you have to ensure that you submit those transcripts that indicate that you actually went to nursing school or bachelor or both so that is that then the fourth one is talking about your nursing license 
Your nursing license must be valid. The nursing license um, must not have been revoked. Your nursing license must um, must be in the country where you practice right now. So that is about option uh, the number four requirement. So the fifth requirement is that you have to ensure that whatever you submit to finish nursing board or nothing can sue ensure that it is in english or swedish or finnish so if it is in another language besides these three languages that means you have to in interpret or in translate that uh, certificates or official documents to finnish or swedish or english and um, the sixth one, which is very, very, very important, is the, is the certificate of sufficient language proficiency. That is very, very important. That is, you must prove to the board or to the council that you can, you understand Finnish or Swedish language, and you can at least speak basic Finnish or um um, Swedish language so there are two ways to do that or three ways one is that um, you can do this by examination so there are two methods of, there are two methods of, of examination here we have the civil service language certificate we also have the national certificate of language proficiency the third way to meet this requirement is to apply with your recruiter or your employer that means when i, I said it in my previous video that your employer will assign you modules about this um, finnish or swedish language they will assign you modules to complete and you will be subjected to write exam based on that so once you pass the exam then your employer will if you apply to it uh, if you apply to an employer or a quota so the quota will now forward your certificate of proficiency you know to the finnish board or finnish council that your this applicant has successfully uh, completed a proficiency in finnish language or swedish language so now I will, I will recommend going. Uh, I will recommend you to go through the national certificate of language proficiency. So, like I said, that I recommend you to use national and uh, to use um, national certificate way. And the first thing you do here is to um, is to is to convert the Finnish language into English language here. So, and this if I'm, this site, I mean, tells you what to do here. Like, you can write this exam in English or Finnish or French, or German, Italian, Russian, Spanish, and Swedish. That is, you don't necessarily have to write this exam in Finnish language. You don't necessarily have to write this exam in uh, Swedish language. You can write the exam in English language or Spanish language. So, and um, the, this page also tells us that if you pass this um, language proficiency, you can use it to apply for a job or study. You can use it to apply for, if you want to be a citizen in Finland, you can use it. And um, you can also use it to prove your level of language skills to an employer. Like, for instance, uh, you want to do this thing yourself. You want to sponsor yourself. I mean, you want to um, do this process yourself. So you have applied for licensure. You have done this. And after you get your license, you now apply in uh, you look for employer to sponsor your visa and, and so on so the first thing the employer will ask you is that do you do you have a certificate that shows that you can speak finnish or swedish so you can use this certificate to get job so that is about uh, national certificates of language proficiency like i said 
whenever you click so whenever you click on a link and that page is in Swedish or Finnish language there is an option to read whatever the information you want to read in English so the next stage is to download the form I mean the licensure form to practice in Finland so this is it here so we're gonna click on fill in the application form in Finnish PDF so like I said this form is in Finnish language so you will need an interpreter or translator to do it but I have done that for you just follow the step so just follow the steps you know just follow the step don't worry yourself about um interpreting and if you are not sure if you don't trust our interpretation you know you have to use google translator copy the you know inform the, the contents then the google will translate that for you so it's not that i can speak finnish i can't even speak an atom of finnish language i also did the same thing i copy the information here to google translator and the google translator translates the um, um this um, information here to english language so now we're gonna start filling this form so you can fill this form on your, on your laptop on desktop if you have the app to fill pdf form or you can just put it out and um you know and um fill it by by pen so this one is talking about healthcare professional just write healthcare professional is asking about the jurisdiction you're applying to are you applying to social worker are you applying to to be a engineer but here we are talking about healthcare professional so i will just write healthcare professional under in a in a space after diary uh, what is it diary numero i don't know what that means but Google, like I said, Google translated the information. So now the next space will be filled with registered nurse. This is asking about the position that you are applying for, the role that you are applying for. So just write registered nurse or nurse. So um, the other one. So what this is asking let me do it again so what this session is talking about like i mean i and tala luma kila like you who taijan you know it means i am applying for title protection of the sickness with both health care and social care that is if you want to apply for both rn and at the same time, you want to be, you want to apply for social care, social care worker. You want to be this, uh, both. You want to apply for both um, um, positions. Then you click on the box. But if you are just applying for hiring, you don't have to click on it. So let's move on to the next um information so this one is asking about sukunimi uh that is uh, meos and antiset so it's asking about, sukunimi is asking about your last name which is your surname so your surname sukunimi is adibayo so sukunimi means your surname which is um adibayo if your son name just write your son name there or your last name so etunimet is your first name so i write my first name here so ade yemi so then the next one is enkilotunus slash sentimahika this is asking about your you know your birth date the date you were born the day you were born that is 12 10 1990 it depends on how you want to write this you know some countries in some countries month starts 
you have to write the month first, then the day. And in some countries, you have to write the day first, then the month. So to be on the safe side, just write the month in in English, in alphabet. Like, okay, I was born in January. Just write January, then the date. I mean the day. If you were born in January 25, just write J-A-N. Then 5, then 1990 or you can say 25 then january 1990 because you know like this one now this may cause some confusion you know because um you may think that uh, that 12 is talking about um talking about day or month you understand so we can so nobody knows if that 12 is referring to month or day or if that 10 is referring to month or day so the best to do this is to write the month in alphabet like we do here now yeah so 12 october you know 1990 so that is about that so this one i think the the other one which is i uh, say todun ilmoitamen Valvirale, you know, I don't think it actually concerns us, so I don't think it actually concerns us. So just, you know, just asterisk it. So, Kansalayusus is talking about your country, right? Nigeria. If you are from India, right? India. If you are from China, right? China. You are from Philippines, right? Philippines. So, Aiden Kelly is asking about your local language. The language you speak most of the time this is yoruba so like is so like like your suite it's asking about your address your home address so my address is 30 or shimba joe or shimba joe street ibadan you know that is my uh my address or your state and post in numero post post in numero is uh, talking about your postcode I mean your zip code so whatever your zip code is um just write it um, write it there so post it to imipaika <laughs> like i said i don't know finnish language or whatever i'm saying here is from the google translator so you write the name of the of the korea that we korea your documents to them so in a jiga we use night post you understand and i may wish to use fedels i may wish to use a fedex i may wish to use um dhl so just write whatever um korea service you are using right there so as soon as you encounter slash ma let me see what that means as soon encounter slash ma so it's asking about the country i mean your country that is uh, Nigeria. For information, I did a mistake. The cancer laosus is, is 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 referring to your country of birth, your citizenship, your country of birth. So Nigerian, Nigerian, yeah, not Nigeria. So now asu ikunta slash ma is referring to is referring to your country of um, your country. Why Kansalayusos is your citizenship, where you were born. So you are a Nigerian, so that's Nigerian. So Pueli is your phone number, your mobile number, plus 234-8074-8233. That is your um, phone number. And um, your email, Sahkopostio Soite is your email. So write your email here. Where you can receive correspondences, information, you know, updates about your application. So the next one is this one. I don't know what that name is. Let me check for you. So the information here is saying that I give my consent that supplement requests a possible consultation and um, letter and other documents can be delivered to me by post. That is, you give your consent that any request or suppli uh, any supplement request or consultation letter 
can be delivered to you by post. So just asterisk it. Then the next, the next one is um, Sogete to took to Kinto slash Kotulus. This one is asking about your qualification. So just write bachelor degree nursing science. If a diploma nurse, just write general nursing diploma. So whatever. So just write it there. Um, that is about that. So, general nursing diploma, if you uh, are in diploma, and if you are a bachelor nurse, just write bachelor nursing degree. But if you have done your master, you, are in, you have your master's degree, you don't have to fill that. It's, it's, it's either you um, put in your bachelor's degree or are in diploma, whichever one. So, and... Um, this one, Opilitos, is asking about the name of your school. So, I went to Oyo State School of Nursing. If you are in diploma or I went to um, Obafemi Awolowo University for my nursing degree. So, whichever one. And um, the next one is um, Valmis to Miss Paiva. So this one is asking about um let me see Van Miss to Miss Paiva is asking about the date you completed your nursing education. The date and month you completed your nursing education. That is let's say I completed my education in 2021. I will fill it there. Let's say I completed my nursing diploma in November. I will just put the date there. So that is just about that. So the last one is just saying that um, the information you filled in is accurate and correct. And um, this one is asking about um, the option. Let me see. So this last one is asking about, okay, if you want to receive the decision about application, do you want it in Sumexi, which is Finnish language, or you want it delivered in Rule 6 in Swedish language? So you can decide to choose Sumexi, which is Finnish language, or you can decide to choose Rule 6 which is um, Swedish language, whichever one. Once you, re you receive your decision, just go to Google Translator, copy the information, it will translate it to you. Or you can just manually test the information in the Google Translator and it will interpret whatever information is contained in that decision. Or you can download Translator on your phone and everything will be done for you. So just choose one of the two. You cannot choose both. Just choose one of the two. So, Mexi or Rosescu. So, we have completed the form that is about the Finland application for nursing licensure for nurses trained outside EU or EEA. So, there's another one that we have to fill, which is this one. Uh, let me see what this means. I think this one is just saying that you should. Um, you should let me see so like the previous one you still write the department you're applying to which is healthcare professional then pal vice japaika pal vice japaika so he's asking uh, about the date you completed this application form understand so i completed this application form i mean i finished this application form on the 10th of october this year so just write the you know just write the year you completed the form so if you complete the form today just write the day you complete the form so after you are done with the form the next is to korea i mean um send the forms and other documents to 
um, to Valvira in Finland. So, and then the address to do that is in this page. I mean, it's in this form. So, if you, but if you don't want to waste money, if you don't want to waste money using DHL, Nine Post, or FedEx, you can just um, you can just um, scan all these forms, including your certificate, scan and email them to this email address here. So, just email address here. Sorry. So email all the documents and the form to this email address here instead of wasting money to um, send your documents to DHL, FedEx, or Nine Post. So once you make your documents, I mean, once you send your documents by email, then you will not be waiting for decision from the Finland. So the application process, I mean, the time line to hear the, the decision from the Finland, nothing um nothing bored or nothing cancelled may take some time it depends on whether you submitted the right documents or not so i cannot really give you the a definite timeline but what is most important here is that you must complete your language proficiency which is finnish or Swedish language, no IELTS, no OET, just this um, this um, language. Um, so that is all about um, nothing like essential application form for Finland. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us on our Facebook page, or you can send your message to our email, travelnurseconsultancy at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time. Bye.